For this project, you need an 8x10 white piece of paper, a 12 by 18 white paper, and an 8x10 black paper. You need watercolor paints and setup, scissors, glue, pencil, and crayons. Let's get started. On your 8x10 white piece of paper, you are going to start by dividing it into six sections. So fold it in half, just so you can get a good divided paper. Draw a line down the middle, and then using your hand in the middle, that's just to eyeball it, you're gonna divide your paper into six sections by drawing two lines on each side of where your hand was. So now you have six almost equal little boxes. Now you're gonna use warm color crayons. Warm color crayons are orange, red, yellow. You can also even use pink. You can use different shades of these warm colors and start by drawing small circles in each section, alternating your crayons. And you're gonna continue doing this in each section and then you are going to draw two more circles around that middle circle so that you have three circles of each crayon color. Now we're ready for our watercolor paint. So you're still using warm colors and paint each circle a little bit different. So with this one, I'm gonna start with red in the middle and I'll keep changing it up for each one. So you wanna color paint inside each little circle that you created until they're all filled with your orange, red, and yellow. After you're done painting with your warm colors, take the black watercolor paint and paint a border around each circle. And it doesn't have to be pretty and perfect. You just wanna make sure you don't get the black inside of your pretty circle. So these are going to help us out when we're cutting later and keep us a nice black border around each circle. Now grab your 12 by 18 white paper and your cool color crayon. So we have blue, purple, and green. You can use any shades of those that you want. And you are going to need to draw a horizon line. So below the middle of your paper, you don't want it right in the center, but about one third of your paper down towards the bottom, but not all the way to the bottom, not all the way to the middle. Draw a horizon line. This is where the ground meets the sky. Okay, so with your green crayon, you're going to draw a line design, any line design that you want to do. I'm just going to do some zigzag lines going horizontally across the bottom of my paper. And I'll keep repeating that until I'm satisfied with my lines to create texture and pattern for my grass. And now with my purple and blue, I will create a line design and pattern for the texture in my sky. So I'm just going to go with some wavy blue lines in the sky, and then I will take my purple and do a, I guess you would say a deeper wavy line in the sky. You decide though, you can create your own design in your sky to create whatever texture you would like with your purple and your blue. And now we're ready to pull our watercolor paints out again. So your grass, of course, will be green. We're sticking with our cool colors. And your sky can be blue, it can be purple, or it can be both, like I am showing you here. While our two watercolor papers are drying, we are going to get our black sheet of paper and turn it into a tree. So fold it in half so that it is nice and long or nice and tall and you want to make sure that you mark where the fold is where the spine of your paper is that you do not cut this off okay because this is going to be the center of your tree i am going to draw half of my tree so here's the tree trunk and it's curving out to my first branch i'm going to draw the other the top side of the branch draw some little branches in there so you're just drawing kind of like little v shapes on this paper. And then when you're done drawing your shapes, you might wanna shade in the negative space or the space that you were going to cut off. That way when you go to cut, it doesn't get confusing. And then carefully cut out those little spaces 
And when you open it up, voila, you have a silhouette or the shape of your tree. And now we are going to glue the tree silhouette down to our uh, background paper, our grass and our sky. When you add the glue, you want a thin line, not a lot, all over the back of your tree. Make sure you get to the end of each branch. Not too much because you don't want it squishing out the sides. Press it down really good, flip it over, press it down again to make sure it really stays. And our very last step is to cut out these awesome Kandinsky style circles and glue them down to our tree. When you cut them out, you want to make sure you leave a little black border around each circle. So do not completely cut off the black paint. Leave just a little bit of a border around each circle. And then you are going to just kind of play around with your design. Where do you want each circle to be before you start gluing? So rearrange until you're satisfied with your composition and then glue each circle down. And there we have our Kandinsky inspired tree.